炸个稀巴烂啊。Okay, here we go. Fire! 我唔敢俾人打，我唔敢打。哎呀！嚟嚟哟！啲雷塔即刻开枪啊！黐线！哇！你哋有嘢。We'll just have to open this big ass gate. It'll only open if we pull these levers together. All right, let's pull. Chandi, say. Hack the eyes out. You gotta be kidding me. Do we got anything at all that'll damage this thing? First things first, take cover! Shit, this is bad. Gotta do something. Damn, check it out, up there. Looks like they use a crane in here. I bet we could use it to slam that container into the bastard. There's gotta be a control panel around here. Let's find it. Watch it, let's find it. Chance, get through that door quick. Got him. Not good. The bastard trying to get back up. Oh, lad, me, oh, eh. Tap to ah. Now's our chance. Get through that door quick. A dead end. You gotta be kidding me. Guess we. <laughs> Just what we needed. Dan, let's use that big old steel girder to deliver the knockout blow. I'll be the bait. You work the control panel. Hurry! I'll be the bait. You work the control panel. Hurry! I don't know who this man is. Drop your weapon. This is your first warning. Oh, those ships. Nothing but lies! Drop your weapon. This is your second and final warning. <laughs> what? Why? Why, you son of a bitch! Externally indistinguishable from humans? When in God's name did robotics get this advanced? The tech to build a robot skinned in a living layer of cells has been around for some time now. 
It's just been illegal. Well, it's much more than that, gentlemen. The AI is particularly fascinating, far beyond our products here at Bergen. We can barely even analyze its neural structure. Well, now, Mr. Bergen, this is ridiculous. You are supposed to have the most advanced R&D in the world. And now you're telling us that someone is just a teensy bit ahead of you? Only because we haven't been allowed to venture into that potentially lucrative area, General. Perhaps if this government hadn't given in and signed the new Geneva Convention, the United States would be producing such robots already. We're a God-fearing country, Mr. Bergen, and only he may create life. Mr. President, this isn't life. Convincing as it may be, it's still a robot. We call them hollow children. If it's indistinguishable from humans, where does the machine end and life begin? Well, this is philosophical bullshit. There are only two things that matter now. Number one, if you did not make this thing, then who did? And number two, why did it come after you? What do we know about this hollow child? It was granted a green card 30 years ago under the name Dominic Berry. 30 years? Jesus H. Christ! If not for yesterday's events, we may never have found out it existed. We're now certain there are more living among us in America. Well, now that's insane. Not really, General. Now just what in the hell do you think you're doing? You see, it would appear that hollow children actually believe they're human. Well, oh, this is bullshit. <laughs> I'm no goddamn. Mr. President, I can think of only one man with the knowledge and resources to build this robot. Dr. Yoji Amada. Huh. Recognized genius in the field of AI and founder of Amada, Japan's largest robotics corporation. You don't sound too sure. So this photograph is 40 years old. Amada hasn't been seen in public since. Well, that's crazy. He'd be 80 years old by now. The Amada Corporation is in league with Japan's new order. I read about them. Isolationists. Self-sufficiency, that's right. Yes, sir. They wield a lot of influence over the Ministry of Homeland Affairs. And you really think they're behind this infiltration? Besides myself, Amada is the only man I know who's capable of this. Get me the IRTA in Geneva. <laughs> Woo! There's our way out, man! Yeah. What a plan, huh? Right? Right. This part of your big plan, too? Whoa, what the hell is that? Base to Beetle 2. We've reestablished the comm. Do you read? Loud and clear, Major, but make it fast. We have detected multiple rapid and intense heat signatures near the seawall. Looks like a large scale battle. And? Well, radio chatter indicates that the Ministry is trying to flush out the resistance. That's all fascinating, Major, but we got a situation over here. Go! Stay on the seawall for a while. Right now, outside the wall, it's crawling with security. Oh, no, he tells us. Thanks for nothing, Major. <laughs> so much for our covert up. Take them out! Whoa, talk about a close one. Dan, watch out for those pegs! Get them for later! Whoa! How far are we 
we gonna slide? Welcome. I have a gun. I hate real rides. Yeah! We ever gonna stop? This is the last oh, wow, wow. <laughs> Isn't this over yet? Today just sucks! Whoa! Too fast, man! Shit! Looks like we plowed through it! Oh! That don't look good! Jump for it! Hey, are you alright? Huh? Anything broken? Just my inner peace. Let's keep moving. <laughs> Sniper at three o'clock. Damn, what are you nuts? Damn it, man! Yo, rendezvous point ain't far now. Finally get to meet our new British friend. Philip said the guy's ex-MI6, a real agent, not some pencil pusher. So watch your back, all right? All right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Multinational <laughs> unit sounds all fine and dandy, but everybody's got their own agendas. And that includes us, you and me, brother. We trust each other and nobody else. It is what it is. Whoa, listen to me. We getting old, brother. Stop me if I'm boring you. Sure. 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 Now you're just talking nonsense. Whatever. Enough chatter. Let's get busy. <laughs> No, they're human. And how in the hell can you tell that? How in the hell can't you? Look at them. They're just kids. Huh. Weapon scavengers. Never seen them start this young. Nice guns. I could get a lot of money for those. Why don't you hand them over? Kid, it's two on one. And these guns are way bigger than yours. <laughs> huh? So much for two on one. Yeah. You know, killing kids isn't my idea of fun. Drop them. Now. Utsuno, dosuno. Iyo, mo koroshichou yo, ni chan. They ain't green. Reckon they want to light us up. I wonder what their parents would be thinking of them now. Hey, I said drop your weapons. Are you deaf? It wasn't quite finished. Happens sometimes with scrapheads. 
I've seen a lot of good soldiers taken out like that. Now, you were saying about our guns? Nah, I figure we owe you one now. So I've changed my mind. Well, how about that? Pretty dangerous work for kids. We do what we have to. Resistance pays good money for these scraphead weapons. Food on the table, you know. You should find a new line of work for these kids. Seems like most of them have forgotten how to smile. Like any of us has a choice. Look around you, Yankee man. No future! Come on, Dan. Ain't nothing we could do.